All right, so the next part of the belt is going to be the arms of the dark matter exia. Certain parts needs to be prepared, especially this, the uh, actual show, um, arm itself, the forearm, and of course the jewel crystal, which uh, I'm digging. But uh, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is take this, put it in this position. There's a little notch here on this polycap. But actually, not a polycap. It's actually one of the plastic parts. And you put this one here. That goes into place like so. And then you close it up. Like that. Nothing special here. This is all basic install um, builds. Um, it is a high grade and considering the size of the ex Exia, the dark matter. They try to try to keep it as simple as possible. So you want to put this one here. Then you want to put the shoulder part like so. Then we have this part that goes like uh, I think like this, followed by this all the way in and I'm choosing this hand there's there's a lot of manipulator hands you could use but I want to choose this one first I always do like the open hand one there you go quite frankly the very simple the arms of the dark matter exia are not complete cool let's move on to the next part of the build so the next part of the build is going to be the leg unit of the Dark Matter Exia. Some parts has to be prepared, like the, crit, the jewel that goes here, and portions of the leg. So first stump, you want to get this part, flip it upside down, and put the poly cap right over it like so. Then put this on top like this. Followed by this part here. That goes. Like, then, come on, there we go. Six like that. Simple. That completes the foot. Now for the leg. A lot more parts than the arm. But some parts I prepared like this, where I had to put a poly cap inside and glue these two parts here. And then you have this part here, which represents the, I guess, the part where it holds the um, the swords. Put them right there. And then you have the cover here. Put them like that. So that sticks into place. And taking this part in this position. I'm going to grab this part here with the jewel. This is, this is the left leg. The jewel has to be on the left hand side. Slide that in here. Followed by this part. That <coughs> uh, goes like this. In that position. And then put the, this part together like so. To seal it up. The, <clears throat> the next part, of course, would be the the thigh. So I'll put that part here, then put the polycap here, like so. Come on. And then this one right through here. That completes the upper part. The lower part, of course, You'll need this, which will go, if I'm trying to see how this works, hmm.
I think this one goes like this. No. Oh, no, it goes the other way. There we go. So that one goes like this. Followed by a part here that's been prepared. That goes forward like that. And this one goes here. I'm taking these, this right part. And that through here. And then... Put this about and put it like that, so it looks like this. Then we have this part, goes here. And then finally, the joint that connects the leg to the waist unit, once we, we'll get to that in a moment. And then the foot. And there you have it. The legs of the dark matter are now complete and unique. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Okay. Let's move on to the next part of the build. Okay, so the next part of the build is going to be the weapons and the waste unit of the Dark Matter, Axia. Some parts I've already worked on, like putting on the uh, sticker. It didn't come out the way I like it, but you know what? What are you going to do? We'll then take this part here, and then the portion of the waste unit. That goes like... Like this. Then you take this and put this in here. And then you flip it about this, take this part. You take these, this part here, the part of the, um, the, the skirt, or the front, yeah, front skirt you could say. There are these two little stickers that you put on this over here. You click it on like so. And you apply this purple trim part like that uh, facing in that direction all right so pretty much the waste unit is now complete now the next weapon you'll need this part here followed by this part oh no I'm sorry I take the this part here and this is very small so be careful like that. Putting this here. Right there, like that. So that's done. And then take these two. Close them up like that. And you get a little hinge here that goes this. And you have this part that goes here, and this part that goes here. And you have this part that goes right there. Well, this is basically almost like the um, like the the sword shield that that the original Axia has. The only difference is it doesn't have the sword. And it also has, it has a section for a, beam, for a beam effect part. Now, you take this part, you take this part here, which of course, I've already advanced, I, I, I went ahead of myself, I put on one of the parts here and put a sticker on it, which is pretty much redundant. Should have foresaw that. Um, you want to put that here. Actually, hold on. There's a bit of a, a little bit of flash that needs to be removed. There we go. So that one goes there. And you want to close this up like so. If it allows you to, or if I had it right.
There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did clean this. So why didn't you want to go all the way in? Huh. Maybe it's specific to the part. Oh uh, yeah. I think I see the reason why. Yeah, this one goes, I believe, here. There we go. Alright, so that part is done. Then you take this part, and there's a... There's an effect part here that I thought I had to the side, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Take that, put this here. Take that, put this here. I'm surprised that they didn't add this to the other gun other weapon. And then you repeat the process over here. And there you go. Alright, so the beam, the um, two swords, the shield, and the waste unit are now complete. And this comes with custom hands, which I might as well pull out and show you, because without them, um, it's not going to hold the be you know, the other hands maybe or maybe not be a good choice to use them. But these hands here, which I'll have to get the, the parts and put them on, the um, the armored parts here to put them on so you can hold them on. But we'll, we'll put them on later on and then we'll display them. Let's now move on to the next part of the build.